The Dunham Quarter in Twos gives you a concise outline of what we view as the most notable economic events that occurred this quarter, involving domestic markets, international markets, and the bond market, all in about two minutes. Like bakers trying to produce a delicious batch of cookies, investors and the Fed tried to blend and mix their best decisions in the last quarter of 2022. Their baking is off to a good start, as we generally saw sound market returns in the fourth quarter. But long term, those cookies are in the oven, and we all must wait to see how they'll turn out. As the fourth quarter began, investors were encouraged by an optimistic third quarter earnings season report, which showed about 70% of the company's earnings doing better than expected. These results created a sense of confidence and were a factor that led to U.S. equity markets rallying at the good news as the sweet smell of well-baked cookies began to waft through the markets. Investors saw a more optimistic quarter in domestic markets than they experienced in the third quarter. This optimism was due to several factors, including the speculation that the U.S. market may have hit peak inflation and the prospects of lower inflation might lie ahead of us. Just as a baker will not know the perfect amount of time each cookie needs in the oven, investors can only estimate on how long it will take to hit peak inflation. This encouraging information was a factor in the S&P 500 posting a positive return of 7.55% in the fourth quarter. However, many ingredients go into cookies, and they are not all sweet. While the hope was that reaching peak inflation would lead to the loosening of the Federal Reserve's monetary policy, this was not the case. In a speech on November 30th, Chairman Jerome Powell announced that while the Fed was planning to shrink the rate increases, it did not intend to stop raising rates. Even though some of the ingredients of cookies don't taste sweet by themselves, it's still important to add them to bake tasty cookies. Monetary policy is just one ingredient of many affecting the U.S. equity market. Like equity markets, the bond markets began to improve this quarter, like a sweeter smelling batch of cookies. The optimism felt in equity markets from the potential of hitting peak inflation was also reflected in the bond markets. Bonds saw yields falling, which in turn caused bond prices to rise. In fact, the Bloomberg Global Aggregate was up 4.55%. High yield bonds did especially well relative to last quarter, as this bond is the most sensitive to equity markets. However, just as the baker doesn't judge his cookies before they're out of the oven, investors must wait to see how the bond market will respond to changes in the economic environment. Looking outside of the United States, the bakers may have churned out a sweeter batch of cookies than our domestic market. As measured by Acqui XUSA Index, the foreign market was up 14.29%. In emerging markets, China seemed to have a better quarter than its previous quarters. Like a cookie owes its taste to the ingredients, China's better market was due to the factors at play in their market, such as the loosening of COVID-19 policies and a stimulus initiative for the real estate sector. In the Eurozone, the cookies seem to have turned out like those in the domestic markets. Europe also saw a slight decline in inflation and strong optimistic sentiment amongst investors that the inflation rate may have finally reached its peak. Also, in the way of positivity, because of a particularly warm autumn, there was less than expected demand for energy, which temporarily prevented energy shortages. Overall, the cookies this quarter were a magnificent culinary feat. The domestic, foreign, and bond markets all improved this quarter. With legislators and investors still busy in the kitchen, it's impossible to say how the market will turn out. This quarter has seen many optimistic signs, and the cookies seem to be baking well. However, if the Fed continues to tighten monetary policy, it may hurt the economy rather than help it, and we risk the cookies getting burned. The drop in retail sales in November reflects this sentiment. The perfect cookie is hard to bake. It takes getting the ingredients just right. It's important to remember that the market is affected by many factors. Some may be meaningful indicators. Therefore, staying calm and using common sense with your investment portfolio is essential. Follow a clear recipe and don't stop baking because you never know when you might make the best batch. Please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest Dunham Insights.